Matt for Aviation.tv. We are here in the Stealth Acoustics booth at ISC 2019 in lovely Amsterdam. I'm here with Brian. Brian, how are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great today. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks so much for taking some time with us again. Uh, over the years, we've talked a, a lot of stuff about Stealth Acoustics, but one of the things that still is just such a, a, a huge part of your business and, and what you're known for is your hidden in-wall speakers. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the new X85. So, yeah, this year we really wanted to get back to the basics, so to speak, as far as our mission statement as a company and really making that extra effort to produce the best in class uh, speaker in this type of category, the invisible speaker category. And I really think we knocked it out of the park this year with the X85. Okay. Uh, the, the big differentiating factor of the X series versus a lot of our uh, previous generations is we're now actively uh, mechanically tuning the diaphragm of the speaker. Really? Yeah, so we, we've taken some uh, pretty significant steps forward in being able to uh, t tailor make the curve output of the speaker so it's uh, it's really a situation where uh, I think the our users will find that we're now at a point where we are really bridging the gap between uh, uh, an invisible speaker category and a traditional in wall and ceiling speaker let's talk about that gap a little bit because it, it in some people's minds it exists in some people's minds it doesn't how do you differentiate between you know again the differences that you get when you do an invisible speaker. Well, in some respects, you know, the invisible speaker actually has some advantages over a traditional speaker. For instance, the ultra wide dispersion uh, versus a, you know a focal uh, beam of sound from a traditional uh, cone type driver or in ceiling and wall speaker. I mean, I'm sure you've been in those situations where you get a very bright experience standing underneath a traditional speaker and you step out underneath off axis and then suddenly you're in a dead spot. Well, mm. with the invisible speaker, you know the ultra wide dispersion really makes that a problem of the past. Okay. Uh, now, on the other hand, uh, this particular category in general, you know, has a little bit of baggage with it. Over the years, <laughs> you know, we'll be the first. That's a nice to, way to put it. We'll be the first to admit <laughs> that you know maybe it always. This category wasn't always the best sounding speaker, right? Uh, but it really has been uh, the mission of uh, the president of the company, who's the designer and inventor of our uh, particular brand of speaker. It's really been his mission to uh, close that gap and give users uh, an experience that is a no sacrifice experience. And in addition to that, it's uh, also we want to give the dealer uh, put them in a situation where they're not, you know hoping that it, uh, the, it's going to turn out okay and that the sound is going to be adequate for the customer. Right. This is a, you know, so this is a, there's no qualms about using this speaker any longer and being able to match the sound of a traditional in wall and sitting speaker. So let's talk design for a moment. When you're a, an integrator who maybe has not really worked with a, uh, an invisible speaker before, what changes in your design philosophy? What changes in your sales philosophy? How do you approach that with the customer? Is it more um, advanced than just saying, I guess you, you know, maybe you don't want to see speaker grows. Mm -hmm. it, like, there's got to be a better way to do that. Well, on the sales side of the of the coin, you know, from my experience, it really comes down to one question on that first walkthrough with the client, and it's, uh, Mr. Client, do you want to see your speakers or do you not want to see your speakers? <laughs> and it really is as simple as that okay. because that instantly makes them start thinking about uh, what the options could be. The reality is, is that many end users don't even realize that this category exists a lot right. of times. So, uh, and even interior designers and architects still don't realize that this product exists and is a viable product to replace a traditional speaker. So it really comes down to that one question on the sales side of things. Now on the design side of the coin, um, I love this product because it, prom it promotes the ultimate in flexibility in a, in a speaker design, in a room design. Uh, if you have an obstacle in the ceiling or in the wall, such as HVAC or plumbing or electrical, there's absolutely no reason that you can't move that speaker slightly uh, off symmetry, let's say, from its, uh, from its mate on the other right. side of the room. Now, a traditional speaker, that could look pretty crazy if you've got grills yeah. in kind of weird places. But yeah, with our speaker, since there's no grill to see and the ultra-wide dispersion, you can't really pinpoint where that sound's coming from. So it gives you a lot more flexibility in design. So last question I have for you is because of that uh, wide dispersion, is this something that you only ever want to use for you know, background and, and just regular listening? Or is it something that you can use for focused listening? So we have a few models that are particularly designed for focused listening. Okay. Um, we do promote the ultra-wide dispersion pretty much across the entire family of products. But we've learned that through uh, special driver placement and organization of the drivers together, mm -hmm. uh, we can create situations where we are sending the sound out in a specific trajectory. That's fantastic. So if people want to learn more about the X85, 
as well as the whole range of uh, speakers and products that Stealth Acoustics has. Where can they find that? The best place to go is our website. It's stealthacoustics.com. Excellent. Thanks so much, Brian. Thank you. Appreciate it, as always. For more coverage from ISC 2019, please visit avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv. Mm -hmm.